More than 840,000 Arizonans have been infected by the COVID-19 virus. At least some of them have been hit by the virus variants from Brazil, Britain, California, and South Africa. And now, it appears that Arizona has a variant of its own. Jake Holter brings us the details from our Washington Bureau. It's called variant B.1.243.1, and there are currently 17 reported cases of it, 15 of them in Arizona. Ephraim Lim, a virologist at Arizona State University's Biodesign Institute, explains why this mutation could be a concern. Um, the E44K mutation has been shown to reduce antibody responses from monoclonal antibodies that are used as therapies and also reduces the neutralization of post-vaccination serum. Simply put, the mutation in the Arizona variant reduces the effectiveness of some antibody treatments for COVID-19 victims, as well as slightly lowering vaccine efficacy rates. Dr. Joshua LeBaire, the executive director of the Biodesign Institute, says the Arizona variant has the same mutation as the South African variant that was only recently found in the state. And vaccines have been effective against that variant, he says. Although no one has specifically tested um, this mutation or viruses that have this mutation specifically with the vaccine, the vaccine trials like the Johnson & Johnson vaccine trial was done in South Africa after um, viruses with that mutation were already prevalent there. Even though emerging virus variant may sound alarming, Will Humble, executive director of the Arizona Public Health Association, says it's not a reason to panic. Experts have long predicted the emergence of variants. One of the things that we've known about this virus from the very beginning is that it's going to have mutations in um, its genetic coding, and it, the protein coat is going to slightly change um, over time. While these variants could reduce the effective rate of vaccines, LeBaer said current evidence shows that vaccines seem to be working against them. And if a variant does prove resistant, Lim adds that vaccines can be easily altered. In the meantime, people should still get fully vaccinated as it will save lives. We can always update the vaccine because right now we actually have a good, many good vaccine platforms that, that work well and all, all of them can be updated pretty quickly. So I don't think this is a problem. In Washington, Jay Coulter, Cronkite News. Currently, there are no new cases of this new variant in Arizona. So as of right now, health officials are keeping a close eye on the variant's progress.